Today in this generation we're surrounded in such thick darkness that everyone, including everyone, are lost. Everyone. And in the time of the flood, it's written that the water were covering even the highest mountains. Even the peak of the highest mountains were covered with, with water. Now today, there is a flood of sadness, of confusions, of... of of foreign thoughts, of anger, of bad, bad, negative thoughts and, 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 and ways of, of behavior that are covering the world. And this is the flood that we're experiencing today. And unfortunately, even the highest mountains, that those are the big leaders that's supposed to lead our people, our souls, are also covered with those um, foreign thoughts, with the negativity, with anger and fears and all kinds of, of lackings that are showing to us that you don't have no one to count on except of Hashem. And the way to be saved from the flood is by getting into the ark, into the Noah ark. Now, what is Noch Ark today? Where is that? You can go to the synagogue, someone will tell you it's a synagogue. You'll go to the synagogue, you can hear Lashon Ara in the synagogue. You can hear a rabbi that is teaching in the synagogue. Nonsense, not, not words of wisdom. So you cannot be saved even in the synagogue. You can say, I'll go to Beit Midrash, the place that all the scholars and, and Talmidei Chachamim are sitting and learning Torah, and you can hear gossip and to see bad behaviors and bad manners over there as well, and everyone desiring only to say mezonot and shakol niyabit varon, another cup of coffee. And you ask yourself, what am I doing here? That's the environment, it's not Noch Ark. It's not saving me from the flood of sadness, of, 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 of depression, of anger. So when you need to get inside that Ark, there is only one place that for me as a person, it sounds like that you will really gonna get inside into it. It's into your inside. Because even if I, as a person, will go to the most inner room in my house, let's say, I will go to that room. So that room is external for me. I need to go and to walk toward that room. Even if it's a synagogue. The synagogue is an external place. It's outside. I need to leave my house and to walk in that path, in that road, few few streets, until I will see the synagogue and then I need to go into... It's out there, it's not inside. But Hashem is telling us, I live inside of you. I live inside of your souls, inside of your hearts. And that's the inner place that the person can get into if he's willing to save his soul from the flood of foreign thoughts sadness and negativity.